Greetings and welcome back. This is your boy Kamal once again, and today we have an integral that is quite something indeed. So we have the integral from 0 to infinity of x squared plus 1 over x to the fourth power plus x squared plus 1 times the logarithm of a geometric series that terminates at x to the 2n and is of course a positive integer. And there's a there's a very nice reason why we need 2n as an even integer over here, because that results in some really cool symmetries that we're going to exploit for the solution development. And all of that is going to be divided by log x. Okay, cool. So how exactly do we begin? Well, we have even powers of x involved and we have logarithms. So let's try the transformation taking x to the 1 over x realm which takes dx to the negative 1 over x squared dx realm. Of course, that flips the limits as well. So the lower limit is now infinity, and the upper limit is 0. And we have 1 over x squared plus 1 over 1 over x to the 4 plus 1 over x squared plus 1 times the logarithm of, let's see, we'll write this thing as the sum over k from 0 to 2n, of negative 1 to the k times x is now 1 over x, so we have 1 over x to the k over log 1 over x, and we have this factor of negative 1 over x squared dx. So did that even help? Yes, indeed it did. For this term over here, let me just simplify using the algebra, and of course we have a negative sign over here. And if we flip the limits, then we'll have an extra negative sign to cancel that one out. So we have 1 plus x squared over x squared over 1 plus x squared plus x to the 4 over x to the 4 times the logarithm of what do we have here? You know what? I might as well expand this. So we have uh, 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 over x squared minus all the way up to plus 1 over x to the 2n over log 1 over x. We know that this thing equals negative log x. And of course, we still have this 1 over x squared dx term. And now for this term, let's expand using x to the 4, giving us the integral from 0 to infinity. Rather, wait. Uh, the x squared term cancels out quite nicely, so we'll just, we'll just expand using x squared. So we have 1 plus x squared over 1 plus x squared plus x to the 4 times the logarithm of, let's simplify the argument of the logarithm now. So we have x to the 2n down here, and x to the 2n up top minus x to the 2n minus 1 plus x to the 2n minus 2 minus and all the way up to, terribly sorry about that, we will have a plus 1 over here. So I hope the symmetry that I was referring to earlier is now more evident. And we have this log x, can't forget that. And of course, we have a negative sign that's now outside. Okay, cool. So this version of the integral i seems a lot more familiar to the integral we started off with. So let's tinker a bit more with the logarithm because we have the logarithm of something over something else. So that equals the difference of logarithms. So we have negative integral 0 to infinity, 1 plus x squared over 1 plus x squared plus x to the 4 times the logarithm of 1 plus, no wait, I'm just going to write this as the sum over k from 0 to 2n, terribly sorry about that, of negative 1 to the k times x to the k, and we have this minus log x to the 2n terribly, sorry about that, over log x dx, and things are looking pretty good so far. So we have negative integral 0 to infinity, 1 plus x squared divided by 1 plus x squared plus x to the 4 times log sum over k from 0 to 2n, negative 1 to the k times x to the k over log x minus using the linearity of the integration operator. In fact, we have a plus sign here, and we have the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 plus x squared 
over 1 plus x squared plus x to the 4 times what exactly? We have 2n times log x over log x dx. The log x, the log x terms cancel out. And we take note that this term over here, this integral is actually the integral i. So this implies that i here equals negative i plus 2n times the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 plus x squared over 1 plus x squared plus x to the 4 dx. Expanding by i gives us 2i, so expanding by 1 half gives us i equal to 2n over 2. The 2 is cancelling out, so we have n times integral 0 to infinity, 1 plus x squared over 1 plus x squared plus x to the 4 dx. Now this kind of integral is actually pretty trivial. So I'll expand using 1 over x squared upstairs and downstairs. So that gives us n times the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x squared over 1 plus, terribly sorry about that, x squared plus 1 over x squared, and then the x squared term turns into a 1. That's a nicer way of writing it for the purpose of the substitution I'm going to invoke right now. And that is to let x minus 1 over x equal t. And the reason for that is that if I differentiate, I have 1 plus 1 over x squared dx equal to dt. Now, of course, I do need uh, x minus 1 over x term in the integral. So for that, let's just expand the denominator of the integral a bit and write this as n times the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x squared over x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 2 plus 2 plus 1. And this thing, of course, will be x minus 1 over x holding squared. So with the substitution, oh, the limits. So as x approaches 0, t approaches negative infinity. And as x approaches infinity, t, of course, approaches positive infinity. And this implies that i here equals n times the integral from negative to positive infinity of uh, what exactly? So I forgot the dx over there, terribly sorry about that. Although I do forget it quite often. Anyway, so we have the differential element now dt over t squared plus uh, two plus one is three, last time I checked. So this is the familiar arctangent integral and we have n over root three times arctangent t over root three with the limits being negative and positive infinity. So evaluating these limits gives us n over root 3 of pi over 2 minus negative pi over 2, which of course gives us 2 times pi over 2, which is pi. So this implies... <coughs> oh, terribly sorry about that. So this, this implies that i here equals pi times n over root 3, which was a pretty cool math snack. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.